This will be the fourth week that those living at this complex are without water. The main concern is where to source water from and how they will survive, considering some here are on medication. To relieve themselves, residents are forced to use the bush. ABC Kwaber, as he is known, has been a resident at the complex for the past six years and says the relevant institutions have been informed but to no effect. He maintains that the accounts of all 13 families living at the complex are up to date. An additional bill of over $3 million, he says, is the responsibility of the Ministry of Sport, Youth and National Services. Of that amount, only 360000 has been settled. That is barely enough, with $1.9 million required still before they can expect water to be reconnected. We have to collect the water by different places. I collect by my, by my daughter but, uh, f four times in a week. COVID is there and also dairy and this Ebola and things. Why should they cut water? And now because of the account which has been uh, cut off by city of Vindo and the water uh, which is not being paid, we are suffer for that. Especially in my case, I'm drinking um, uh, medicine, I have to use water and so on. And like now, I cannot say people can visit me because our toilets, we are not use our toilets. Kuaper suggested that a prepaid system be installed in order to prevent such an inconvenience in the future. Contacted for comment, the Ministry of Sports, Youth and National Service said unfortunately the plot which includes the College of the Arts and the Ventuk Multipurpose Youth Resource Centre only contains one water meter registered and billed under the Sports and Youth Ministry. As a result, the Ministry owed the City of Ventuk $362 million and has made payment of $1.5 million. The Ministry stated that it will settle the outstanding balance once funds are available for July 2022. Siaman Tikwa, NBC News, Vantuk.